A man who was portrayed in a film as a life-saving hero during the Rwandan genocide has been convicted of terrorism by a court in Rwanda. Paul Rusesabagina, 67, was found guilty of backing a rebel group in a series of attacks which killed nine civilians in 2018. His family say he was taken to Rwanda from exile by force for the trial. Rusesabagina's journey from celebrated figure to state enemy happened as his criticism of the government grew. Initially, he was hailed for his acts during the genocide 27 years ago. In the Oscar nominated movie Hotel Rwanda, Rusesabagina, played by Don Cheadle, was shown as a hotel manager who managed to protect more than 1,000 people who had sought shelter. In a period of 100 days from April 1994, 800,000 people, mostly from the Tutsi ethnic group, were slaughtered by extremists from the Hutu community. Some survivors have gone on to question the version of events in the 2005 film. But as Rusa Sabagina's profile was raised following its release, his criticism of the post genocide government and President Paul Kogome gained a wider audience. He spoke about human rights abuses and alleged that the government was targeting Hutus. Living in exile, Rusa Sabagina went on to lead an opposition coalition, which had an armed wing, the National Liberation Front. In a 2018 video message, he called for regime change, saying that the time has come for us to use any means possible to bring about change in Rwanda. The FLN was accused of carrying out attacks in 2018, in which the authorities said nine people were killed. Rusesa Bajina said he never asked anyone to target civilians but did admit to sending the group money. Rusesa Bajina's family said he was kidnapped and forcibly taken to Rwanda last year. But in court, one witness spoke about how he had tricked Rusesa Bajina onto a plane in Dubai by telling him it was flying to neighboring Burundi, not Rwanda. Rusesa Bajina withdrew from the trial in March this year, shortly after it began saying that he was not being given a fair hearing. 20 others were tried alongside Rusesa Bajina, some of whom were members of the FLN who implicated him in their evidence. The prosecution has asked for a life sentence for Rusesa Bajina. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.